Hope you're having a good Saturday, everyone. I hope you're ready for some NXT TakeOver. Now, before you go watch, I wanted to show you guys something real quick. They did unveil some more figures yesterday, as well as a little bit today. Right here, we're getting the very first time in the Elite line, Kurt Hawkins. Now, we have gotten him in the basic before. He was released in a battle pack, but I think what it was is that Bill, he did not want to have a missed opportunity on this. He wanted to make sure that he got him out there to all of the people that have requested this figure. Me, specifically, being one of them. <laughs> this figure looks sick. He's coming with some accessories. He's getting his stick right there. He's getting his entrance jacket right there with the letter H representing his name, right? Hawkins. Oh man, this figure looks sick. Now, I know some of the concerns on Instagram that people were pointing out was that the kick pads, they look a little bit off. wanted to show you guys some. If you look at the actual final product of the figure, they did fix it. So I think come when they actually finally put the figure out, it should the problem should be fixed. It looks like it's definitely flowing more into the lower leg a lot better. This jacket though, this this looks amazing. They definitely went all out. I mean, they actually went out of their way to actually sculpt the line work on there, as well as his signature logo right there. So it looks like it just won't be like you know, uh, um, what's that? Like a decal. So yeah, it's actually like like look at that. <laughs> you can see the outline work on that. The head scan, they totally killed it. This man deserves an elite. <laughs> Kurt Hawkins, he is a figure lover just like us. There's no reason why we shouldn't have gotten this figure. Now, they also um, unveiled these uh, zombies, what was it, on Thursday? I wanted to show you this, because this is really, really cool. I was a big fan of the cane right off the bat. One of my biggest questions was, is that mask removable? Yes. The answer to your question is yes. And this is what the man looks like. Look at this. This is gruesome, dude. I can't believe they actually went out of their way to do this with the figure. I do like this a lot. I think this totally just brings out the Big Red Machine in its best possible way. And I know Matt Hardy, he was looking kind of broken. And if you look right here, the man is literally broken in half. <laughs> this is awesome, you guys. So it's very similar to the Seth I think, Yeah, I believe it was a Seth Rollins zombie that you could remove one of the legs you can actually remove the complete upper torso from the lower half look at that the spinal cord basically connects the two together really like this zombie line this is by far the best zombie line so far these are the only two that they showed that you could do a little bit extra with so if they show up you know if they end up showing anything else i'll definitely uh let you guys know right here they also unveiled uh the new most recent battle pack a battle pack series 53 these are all available at ringside collectibles Discount code HERO will save you 10% at checkout. Right here, we got Jeff and Matt Hardy. First time in the Battle Pack line. And it is a good because you remember, they have, what was it, the Epic Moments. They did have those, but, I mean, again, they are on the pricey end. I do like this Jeff Hardy. This Jeff Hardy is actually uh, very similar to the one that they're going to release on its own, where it comes with the accessory. I think it's like a necklace. So it's nice that we're getting that. And, again, if you missed out on the Epic Moments, great way to capitalize. The one thing that I do have to point out, that it's definitely bothering me. I, I okay. First things first. <laughs> Jeff Hardy's definitely probably my favorite from the set. Matt Hardy. If you look at closely enough on the tank top right there, it does look like they just painted on the tank top. I think they should have definitely sculpted. I mean, they could have just used the exact same mold, you know, from Jeff Hardy. So hopefully they fix that when they actually finally release the figure right here. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura and Dolph Ziggler. Now, the one thing about this set that I really am enjoying is that for Dolph Ziggler, we're finally getting the ponytail. Look at that. <laughs> Oh man, that is a ponytail game. I definitely want in my collection. So so glad we're getting that in the in the line right here. We're getting Carmella and James Ellsworth. James Ellsworth. It looks like he's got the leopard print. Yes, it's the leopard print attire right there. Carmella. It does look similar. The head scan does look similar to her previous figure. But again, only time will tell. I do like the attire on her. Can't say I'm a fan of James. I think he should have came with the pants. But then again, you're you know this is a basic, so it would have been going above and beyond. Plus, I'm actually kind of shocked that he's still on the line considering that he was released right probably still has that legends contract right here elite series 60 they also did show uh mock images and i wanted to show you this because i mean again this is the first time we're seeing this mock and the actual art piece right here by rob that's cool I do like what they did with the art piece i do like this is probably the best figure from the set i think elias is just man he's had a great character in having this in figure form we get in the guitar the pants right here if you look um 
towards the bottom right there it does look like they actually went out of their way to sculpt the detail on the lower parts of the pants really great looking figure triple h right here this is based on wrestlemania so if you look closely enough at the attire that check well let me show you i'll show you, I'll show you loose um the jacket right there it's uh it's the exact same one that he wore so it is you know it does have all the right sculpt work really nice man really like this entrance jacket but my favorite thing about this figure is this that beard man <laughs> Oh, there's the art piece right there. He's he's screaming, man. He's like, yes, they finally gave me a proper beard. <laughs> uh, uh, right here, Giant Machine. I know a lot of people have been asking who is Giant Machine. If you're not familiar with this character, this is Andre the Giant. And that's kind of why, you know, obviously you can see right there in the corner, it is coming with the interchangeable head. So you can either have him with, you know, have him be in Giant Machine or the actual Andre the Giant. And it also, it also does come with the removable cloth fabric piece right there for the attire really cool uh the new day we're also getting xavier woods in the patriotic outfit the red white and blue the uh francesca yes is it i believe this is francesca the second or is it the third <laughs> oh man i don't even know uh that francesca has has gone through a lot that's for sure and again uh it is it does look like it's been painted like a light baby blue almost like a teal the art piece right here this kind of you know what this reminds me of it's kind of reminds me of uh What's that called? Uh, Sting like a butterfly. Uh, some, someone dropped it in the comment section. It's an old boxer from back in the day. Kofi Kingston. Right here is Kofi Kingston. And I do like how his actually, like when you close it, it actually looks like it's uh, the stars. Yeah, the stars like pretty much like blend in together. That's really cool. It almost looks like the flag. Like if you turn it sideways, really awesome figure. Here's the loose image right there. Man, he is just happy. He's like, we're finally getting our patriotic attire. <laughs> Now, right here, uh, the last figure from the set, John Cena. I know a lot of people are not a fan of this figure. Uh, personally, I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of starting to come around the fact that this figure is actually decent. Uh, if you look right here, there are some differences from Elite Series 54. I mean, apart from the shorts, right, because I think those ones were like a tan yeah it was like a light light tan and the shoes too he's got he's got some nice baby blue shoes right there shirt getting the orange shirt still i don't know it, it might be a pass for me uh, a great series overall john cena i think we should have just gotten the green like that green that he's currently wearing gotta say i'm a fan of the the overall line but my favorite for sure is that elias hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like be sure to subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you on the next one